hello guys welcome back to my channel so um this is a continuation of the first video i um did which is me making my own um crochet distress locks i will put the um other video in the cards but um above so this is a lot of questions have been asked about how to install it on your clients so i just thought i would um crochet a piece of the spring twist hair into my already made crochet locks sorry guys i thought i was actually in focus in this video but i didn't know <laughs> it wasn't even recording but what i actually did was to crochet um a single piece of another spring twist hair into the loop i already created so I'll go ahead and um, section my client's hair into, I had a total of um, 40, I think it was like 41 locks. So I went ahead and um, I parted my client's hair into 41 um, parts, I would say. So my clients had really long, thick hair, so I didn't have to um, add extra hair. But if you have thin hair or your client has thin hair, you can just add a little bit of the kinky twist to it and then just braid down. And you can always just, you know, maybe fold it if it's too long, it depends. But this, my clients actually had really long hair, so um, <laughs> I'll show you guys what I mean in the video. So you don't necessarily have to have 41 locks. I usually recommend um, not too much locks on the head because it might be it might tend to be heavy. So I just always like to be with between um, 35 to like 50. So guys, if you watch closely, I will be doing the regular crochet method. So I'll be crocheting the um, spring twist I attached to the locks. And then I thought of putting my client's hair like in between the locks, the already made um, locks. But then I did this for like two, three, four braids. It was good. But then I just realized that it might be a little bit confusing for my client to take it down. But I mean, you know, that's just the, this is the regular, you know, way to do crochet. So whatever works for you, do it. But And then I'll just be fluffing the um, spring twist out before I start wrapping. And then I will just wrap it on top. Sorry guys, it took me, I actually thought about this style, this technique on the day of the appointment, the morning of the appointment. So um, yeah, just pat on my shaky hands. And yeah, I'll just go ahead and wrap the um, attached spring twist with the hair on top of the already made locks.
So all I do, guys, is I wrap to the end of um, my client's hair. And then one thing I realized is the hair I actually attached to the crochet, um, I cut it into two. So if you have longer hair, you might just want to leave a full spring twist, um, a f um, you know, a full length of spring twist so you don't have to keep cutting. But if you like... If you're like me, that I like to work with shorter lengths um, to wrap, then that also, that also works for you. You watch it you haven't subscribed and I don't know why you haven't subscribed but please just subscribe and yes guys I'm going to be um, doing a 3,000 subscriber giveaway yes I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers and I'm so grateful for everyone who has stayed with me um, in this journey so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe so you can join the giveaway and I'm gonna be giving out this locks um, in the length mid back um, you get to choose any color of your choice. Please be uh, aware that this um, particular brand of hair doesn't come in, in a lot of colors. So yeah, um, you get to choose the color of your choice. It's going to be in the length mid back and I'm going to be shipping it over to you. You don't have to pay anything. I got the cost just, you know. But the only thing is this giveaway is going to be specific, um, specific, Jesus, I'm so, English can be difficult at times, oh my God. It's going to be specifically for people in the U.S. for now. Um, as time goes on, as I'm going to be doing other giveaways, it's going to be worldwide by God's grace. So, um, but for this particular one, you have to be in the United States. Um, so I'm going to be dropping the details for the giveaway in my next video. So yeah, but please subscribe, 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 and thank you.
I was honestly happy when, you know, my client came and I did the first love and I did the second one, I did the third one and it was just so, it was so, I, I just felt really proud of myself and this tile actually took me three hours. I, I couldn't believe it, like three hours I was done, you know, um, usually this takes me like five to six hours, you know, depending on the length, but for this particular length, it took me three hours. And um, yeah, because I already did the work the night before, which, you know, it's easier. So usually I only take one client a day because um, I've been braiding so, since I was six. I, I already started having knee pain. So I just tend to limit my clients to one per day. But with this technique, I can actually do two to three heads of locks per day. So if this is um, a method that you think will benefit you and, you know, will make you more proactive or more effective, you know, I would just say jump on it and yeah. So guys, another thing I wanted to talk about was the length. Usually, the length from the back and from the front are totally different. So let's say you're doing box braids and you decide to um, cut your um, extension into four for the back. You have to cut your extension into three or sometimes two if um, for the front. So when I was doing this um, crochet, I was actually thinking because I know I usually... Um, gauge the length of you know my meat back or my butt length um, by how tall or short my client is because sometimes I might have really tall clients and what I already um, pictured butt length might just be meat back for them so I just I was kind of skeptical because about if I was going to sell this as crochet it, I would have you know I would run into some issues in that part so I figured out that I would just um use the, um, the attached spring twist to make an extended length I will show you guys what I mean so when you just crochet the um, already attached spring twist here that you put in into the crochet loop you kind of measure it as you can see I'm measuring it if you draw it upwards it makes the lock short as you're gonna see right now it makes the lock short and when you pull it down it makes it longer so if you're eventually going to buy this lock from me, this is how you're going to install it. So when you pull upwards, it makes the hair shorter, but when you pull it downwards, it make it it makes it longer. And yes, if I'm going to be um, selling the um, locks, I'm definitely going to um, give you like 10 to 15 um, extra strand of spring twist hair to, um, you know, just to wrap with um, if you have long hair. Just like I did in the video, I just kept, you know, adding hair 
just to cover up my client's um, natural hair. So guys, I know I'm talking too much and sometimes it's just very confusing to, you know, talk and watch a video. So um, the video is quite explanatory. I tried my best. And also I'm going to be uploading one more video of me doing my own hair. And also hopefully it's going to be detailed enough just in case, you know, you had some more questions after watching this one. So guys, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, share to your family, your friends, everybody you love to see this. And most importantly, please subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel please let's get me to 3,000 subscribers thank you guys for watching and god bless you i will see you in my next video